Tim, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Welcome back. We continue our conversation with Camille um, Turner. Okay. Yeah, you can say go ahead, but I'm not sure about that light. I can't go ahead and that light. We're going to have to. You can go ahead and go ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's yeah. like, you see how that shit was He's like, we can cut it out. Yeah, yeah, Yes, we can. We 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 Okay, can we go? Be cool, be cool. I'll go. Be cool. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> so whatever, don't stop. Just okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Welcome back. We continue our conversation. You're watching Eglinton TV with uh, performance artist Miss Canadiana Camille Turner. Camille, we were talking about the Bobby yes, House the Bobby in house. Windsor. Mm -hmm. Francois Bobby, French Canadian yes. politician. His house was the headquarters for the War of 1812 that we won against the Americans. Mm -hmm. But he had slaves, and much people in that area didn't know about that. And you, yeah, you told very me few in, people knew. <laughs> you in uh, Dr. F F Cooper, who did uh, Hanging the Badge Leak. Yeah. There were a lot of those same stories. So, so here you are unearthing yeah. stuff. It was because I read her dissertation that I knew that um, the Bobbies were slave owners. It, um, Francois's father. Um, owned 17 slaves. So he grew up in a home with 17 slaves. He inherited three of them. And the story of this house, because this house is now the Community Museum of Windsor, was told um, without that, that history. Black erasure. As oh was. yeah, totally erasure. And, um, and uh, people were really shocked when, um, when I, I decided to do my residency there. Um, there was uh, Asha Tomlinson from CBC came and did a, a feature interview of of, um, of me for the project, and the story broke, and people were totally shocked. They had mm -hmm. no idea. That in the midst of the little white, mm -mm. Windsor <laughs> thing, exactly. historical this and that, yeah. you got some black folks in there. Yeah, yeah. Where is it the black folks haven't been though? Really, I mean well, that's, that's a, sometimes that's becomes good. a question okay. where we. We are all over the place. We're all Maui, over the uh, world. All over the yeah, place. like historically, exactly. yeah, it's it's. And really then for Canadians, though, why Canadians don't seem to know their Black history? No, I mean, slavery was. They keep forgetting. Some people think that there's never <laughs> slavery in Ontario. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people. I mean, I I still get shock and horror when I tell these stories, you know, and um, so it's it's been really um, this kind of mission of mine. That's why I'm starting a PhD um, at York University. Basically what I'm going to be doing is to excavate these stories, to animate them, and to bring them into heritage museums like Bobby mm -hmm. House. So from a mall in, of all places in terms of <laughs> modern edifices, right, <laughs> to PR and um, personal definition and all of those things, personal comportment and deportment yeah. to the Bobby House where you're unearthing uh, African Canadian lived history. I mean, who would have thought it yeah. that you'd make that straight line all the yeah. way from that to that? Yeah, yeah, wow. that's true, very true. Yeah. So this definition of Miss Canadian it changes. She is one foxy lady, one funky lady, one regal, <laughs> one, one royal lady, but at the same time very political and historical and can get down there and dig and excavate yeah. historical lore of the blacks in this country. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about another um, exploration. You, speaking of home, had to go back home to Hamilton. Hamilton, you yeah. You were part of the Pan Am. They set up these storefronts in the old Bart neighborhood that is pretty dilapidated, as it were. Mm -hmm. um, but for Pan Am, they did this. And you were one of those exhibitors. Yeah. Um, with your exhibition, Big Up Bart. Yeah, yeah. How was that going back home to see Bart and what Bart looks like? Because the steel has gone, the mm -hmm. big money had gone. I mean, now there's gentrification happening, too. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of this. This displacement, and still 
chunks of that downtown core of Ottawa that's um, pretty Detroitish, yeah, that's true. and there, abandoned, and there's a lot buildings of, where there's nothing happening. Yeah, there's a lot of abandonment, and it it. You know, over the years, because my family, my my mom and dad still live there, so I I do go mm -hmm. um, to visit. And along the Barton Street corridor, there's so many. Uh, the one of the people I interviewed described it as a mouth with missing teeth. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is up? Um, a lot of boarded up buildings. Yeah, yeah. So what I wanted to do was to really um, sort of think back to when it was a really bustling place because when I was a kid it was it was a happening place you mm -hmm. know if you wanted anything you could get it on Barton Street um, there's a lot of small um, family-owned businesses and uh, it was just a, a really great street so um, it's it's only well I guess it's since the 80s that things have really started going downhill and um, so, it, so, so evoking the past, but also thinking about who is there now, because there's some amazing people that are there still, and people that are moving in. Oh, there yeah, a lot of artists well. in Toronto have moved down. Exactly, that mm -hmm. it's like a, it's, and there's so many opportunities there. It's an incredible place, but also, um, you know, just thinking about what the future is for, for the community that's there now, you know, if. If this place becomes a mall, or you know, just these these huge um, glass towers, that would be such a sad thing. There would be such a sad loss. There's so much there. So I wanted to go and find what's hidden, you know, to really sort of reveal that, and and let people really celebrate the the place, you know. So big up Barton. Yeah, because I mean that, that area is is a bit juxtaposed because just down to, just there you can see uh, the developments that have been ha happening in uh, James Street North, yeah. right? So there is good and bad, I guess, if you will. Yeah, know. yeah. But I mean, one of the things that's been happening is um, the artists have been leading this whole um, redevelopment of James Street. Um, for for better or worse, mm -hmm. you know, um, and it's a double-edged sword. But um, the artists have been really leading this. A lot of I, I think uh, they tried to convince the city that you know arts is really important. Oh yeah, they have that fabulous art crawl, art night, art yeah. week, whatever they. But do. it wasn't the city that created it. It's the yeah. artists. It's the independent artists that you know came together and created this thing. It's now that the city are like oh. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> because they they didn't really see that vision before. So people coming together to create this, and I'm really um, excited that um, Clyde Brooks has taken up the big up Barton mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, moniker and yeah, he's yeah. taken it forward. He's, Don't pull Clyde Brooks, yeah, shout out to my man Clyde Brooks, <laughs> tell him I. <laughs> yeah. So describe the the installation then, because you mm -hmm. had I mean. It was interactive, you used sound too, so explain how the bare bones of how it was set up. Yeah, I mean basically it was an exploration, so I met all kinds of people. Clyde was one of the people I interviewed, um, the former mayor Bob Bertina, the, the current um, councillor for the area, Matthew Green. People that lived there, grew up there, um, taught school there. Um, a guy who owns a restoration um, sort of business. This this couple, this this these two people, they they came from Toronto actually. They owned a um, a bookstore here in Parkdale, mm -hmm. um, and their landlord decided to raise the rent twenty five percent. They picked up and they, they just rest like to yeah, they Go came to Hamilton and, and now they own their own place. You know, and they're really singing Barton's praises. So th there's there's so many people that came that have come together that really believe in this place, that really want to 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 see things happen, and and so I wanted to celebrate that. You know, mm -hmm. so I interviewed. Um, there were eleven interviewees, and people could come into the space and um, they could um, listen to the stories um, on these iPads. Um, and then also I had a, a piece, it was called Barton 2, which is the name of the bus that runs up and down the street. 
and I did a binaural recording of um, my journey along Barton Street, and then all these along which stops, so <laughs> you stop and that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And all the the different um, things that you see along the street, but back in time as well. Yeah. So it's it's um, the past and the present. The past and the present. Yeah, yeah. Wow, excellent. Yeah. So, how do you describe your artistry? Then, like you say, I you say, performance side, I guess is yeah. the term. And also, social practice seems to be the moniker that's being thrown around these days. And social practice is just instead of using paint you know, or stone or clay as my medium. I use human relations, you mm -hmm. know. Like in, in the Big Up Barton, another thing that I did was I had um, an artist make a map of Barton Street, hand-painted a map, and then people were invited to come and put their memories on the map so they could write their memories and put them on the, on the map. And I think it's about people coming together and creating something you know, I'm the facilitator mm -hmm. of the experience, you know, so, so that's how I think about my work. I facilitate people's experiences. Well, you've certainly done a good job of taking us through memories and remembrances here. Um, Camille Barton, um, performance artist, Miss Canadiana, she's here talking with us at Eglinton TV. Uh, you can check her out all over the place. And your website? CamilleTurner.com. CamilleTurner.com. You're watching Eglinton TV. We we're glad to have the distinguished performance artist, Miss Canadiana Camille Turner, in the studio with us. Thank you, sis. We'll be right back. Give us a side. 